Andrade versus Darby Allen in a coffin match. I'm not sure there was much of a match here, but boy, they did some crazy ass shit. So it starts off, it's like Darby versus five guys. It's a coffin match, there's no DQ. So Private Party is out there, and Blade is out there, I don't know who else, but I'm wondering where Darby's friends are. Then it turns out Sting is in the crowd wearing a Sting mask. So you do the, It's my favorite spot. It is a great one. And then he's had lots of practice, but his timing on it is perfect to pull off a mask. And it's Sting! You know, it does bear the question, which I didn't even think about until just now, but... Where the fuck were the Hardys? Oh, I thought of it as soon as we saw him at the end. Well, I mean, I thought I thought about it now because I remember they came out at the end. Oh, yeah. But uh, where were those two fuckers? I don't and know. These poor guys being beaten five on one or whatever. Yeah. And they just were in the back. I don't even know what they were doing. They were in their gear. They were not helping. Yeah. They were not lending a hand. That wasn't very nice. No. So Sting no sells a chair shot. Does a dive off the balcony onto three dudes. Yeah, the chair shot where he's fucking bent over the railing. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, you know, I remember, um, it might have been Rip Rogers. Probably was. <laughs> Sounds like something Rip would uh, be angry about. But uh, he fucking hated the drop kick in the corner spot. And uh, like one time he was doing the match and some guy he whipped him across, fucking drop kicked him in the corner, and he was furious. Because, you know, to Rip, the whole point of this is, well, you, you know, someone throws a drop kick, it's fucking fake. So as their feet make contact, you take a fucking bump. But he goes, in the fucking corner, I got nowhere to go. There's a fucking corner there. So you just drop kick me, and I just get kicked for real. He was all pissed off. And uh, as soon as Sting was bent over that railing, and that guy took a fucking chair, I thought, there's no way he can hit Sting. Because, like, there's nowhere for Sting to go. He'll be sandwiched. He will be the ham in a fucking disgusting ham sandwich. And sure as shit, he laid there bent over the barricade. This fucking guy whacks him in the back. And, like, there's nowhere for Sting's body to go. So he just took a full-on hard chair shot. And then it looked like it hit him in the back of the head on top of everything else. But Sting has to no-sell it. So he just stands up and he looks all mean. And I thought, that had to be the shittiest moment of Sting's fucking week right there. Then he jumped off the goddamn balcony. He's crazy. He is more than a little nuts. For a guy at his age, his position, by the way, to be doing all this. So after the break, everyone's gone. It's now just a one-on-one match. This crazy shit continues. They open the coffin. The lid's covered in thumbtacks. They can slam it onto each other. Andrade does a suplex where he throws Darby, who lands on the like the pyro grate or whatever this was. Thank God the pyro didn't go off. And uh, <laughs> they're doing something down by the coffin. You can hear the ref give Andrade the 90 seconds cue. And they're doing some more stuff. And Darby gets a big toe fade that puts both men in the coffin, trying to close the lid. Jose runs out to make the save. His shirt is torn off. Jose, the assistant, is backdropped onto the tacks inside of the lid. And then Darby shuts the lid and wins. As noted, a collection of crazy stuff. God, this Darby's out of his mind. He just got fucking brutalized in this match. But he won. He got his win back over Andrade. So uh, this I'm is... I think over that suplex on the pyro grate. Yeah, it was uh, that was insane. That was bad. Yeah, I want to say one more thing about uh, Sting's dives. So yes, he is a crazy fucker because he's like sixty-two years old. He's doing all of this stuff off balconies. But uh, there is a there is something I noticed, and that is this: How many times have we seen that guy coming off the top? There's like five guys down there, and somehow none of them catch the guy. Been known to happen, and he splats on the cement. How many times have we seen that? Many times. How many times has Sting come off something high and uh, we had the 710 split? Zero. You want to know why? Why is that? Well, because a lot of guys nowadays do crazy shit off the top that is hard to catch. Also true. You do the uh, 450 or the whatever. And I think in a lot of these cases, you know, you got all these guys down on the ground, and they fucking look up, and there's knees or an ass heading at them. And they get out of the way, because there's five of them, and I think they think, well, I get out of the way, the other guy's going to catch the guy. Meanwhile, the other five guys are like, Jesus, there's an ass coming to my face. I'm going to get out of the way. And everyone scatters, and the guy crashes on the ground. Sting never does anything crazy. He does a high cross. Mm-hmm. He does the easiest fucking dive that anybody could catch, 
And therefore, there's nobody who's afraid to catch him or move out of the way or whatever. It's just they're all there, and they catch him, and, and away he goes. Because at the end of the day, the point of the dive is, in the old days, you did something where everyone could catch you. That's why it was called a catch, because you caught a guy. And so if you do an easy dive that's easy to catch, you know what happens? Fucking place goes crazy. Nerds on a podcast talk about how nutty you are doing this shit at 62. But the fact of the matter is you're not nutty, and it's actually not that crazy. But it gets just as big a pop as someone doing a twisting fucking moonsault off the top and everybody gets out of the fucking way because there's shit flying at them. So anyway, smarten up, everybody. That was the show. And then as noted, the Hardys came out. I my immediate thought was, where the fuck have you bastards been? Buddies are here fighting for their lives with thumbtacks, which granted was their idea and whatnot, but they didn't do it. They didn't let uh, didn't let the finger until they came out at the end of the show too. And I wasn't sure they were celebrating. Were they challenging? I don't know. They do. They they came out and they del- they said delete. Yeah. So I don't know if they're gonna have a match or they were like, you know, telling him he deleted Andrade or I don't know what this was. And Jeff, who hadn't done a thing on this show, is selling his shoulder the whole time. <laughs> So I don't know that. I, I believe Jeff Hardy's always in pain. A vigorous delete. That part I can buy. Yeah. Something like that. So, yeah, weird ending, but still a very, very I was reading this book about bats. The book explains that a bat cannot stand and then take off. Okay? A bat can only fl- fall from a great height and then fly. Gotcha. Sting is now a bat. He just goes up on something really high and he falls. He, he did not jump through these tables. <laughs> no, he, he fell. Just, he fell. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.